Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dawson. Today, we are going to be talking about min swap and why I think it is the best DEX on Cardano. We're going to have both factual data and just opinion-based reasons on why I like it the most. Um, but before we start, I'd like to just talk about the crypto market overall. Currently, we have Bitcoin sitting around 21,000 to 21,500, trying to break that 22,000 barrier. We will see if it'll be able to do it in the next week or two. And then we have Ethereum. Ethereum sitting around 1,600 right now. But the altcoins on Ethereum have been having what people are calling a bear market all season. It's really crazy to see it happen. Um, we have things like Loop Ring jumping. We have Polygon, which has been cranking lately. It has been having a lot of partnerships. So really just trying to see what's going on here in November for the crypto market. We did have the 75 basis raid hike, um, which seemed to have been like a bullish thing for the week, um, the current week, but I don't know if it'll turn bearish over the next couple weeks in November. I still think November is going to be a big month to watch to see if the bottom has been put in in crypto or not. But I mean, it's just crazy to watch both the alt season kind of happen, these technological advancements happen and just stuff like that. Bitcoin dominance is not as high as you would imagine. So really it just makes me wonder if the bottom has actually been put in. Either way, if the bottom's been put in, I'm okay with my positions and I'm gonna keep DCAing in, but I just wanna see how November plays out. If you are new to the channel, my name is Dawson, and last night actually we crossed our 50th subscriber on the channel, so really thankful for all that. Really thankful for all 50 subscribers that have been subscribed. Our next goal is 100 subscribers, so if you're currently watching and want to be one of the first 100 subscribers to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. It lets us know that, lets me know that I'm doing the right things, right? As always, before we jump into the mid swap review. Let's just take a second and acknowledge that crypto is a lot of fun, but this should not be taken as financial advice. I'm going to give a very high level overview of MinSwap, some good, some bad, some risks and stuff like that. But you really need to do your own research. There's a lot of things that can happen in crypto. Even when I'm invested in a project, I take continuous time to research it as I DCA in. Things can always change. It's a very dynamic market. So please do your own research. This is not financial advice. Take care of your investments, okay? Now let's jump into the min swap review. Let's talk about what I think about it. And at the end of the video, we're going to give a little price prediction of where I think min swap could be in 2024, 2025 bull market. So if you want to see that, please stick to the end. Now, what is min swap? Min swap is a decentralized AMM automatic market maker DEX decentralized exchange. So min swap is basically a place where you can trade, trade Cardano native assets, um, you can provide liquidity, you can yield farm, and you can do what they call zap in. And we're going to touch on all these things in this video. Some of the main selling points that MinSwap thinks is important for its users to know is that they are community driven. Um, you can see this in the tokenomics we'll touch on. They are innovation driven. You can see this by how they rolled out their ISPO, by how they have different, um, I forget what they call it, but it's like they have different discounts you can have for holding min in your wallet. Now, for they're also a big supporter of stake pools, single stake pools, um, all Cardano stake pools for decentralization. They have um, ERC20 conversion capabilities. They do what I called launch pools. Um, basically, when a new project wants to launch a liquidity protocol on MinSwap, they might not have like all the ADA to provide to the liquidity pair. But through MinSwap, they, MinSwap users can provide ADA, the protocol can provide their token as liquidity, and then the two can meet in the middle, users providing ADA, the token providing their token that they have, and then users of the launch pool protocol can receive yield rewards from that token that's being released. So really cool initiative where new projects can get a liquidity pool, even if they don't have a lot of free, free, free cash to buy up ADA and provide their own token. So that's a really interesting thing to watch out for. There are currently no upcoming launch pools. I know they did one, you can see it on their website as like in the history, but none on, none upcoming that I could see. So some great things about MinSwap is it's the largest total value locked crypto DEX or crypto project on Cardano. Currently has 38 million total value locked in its ecosystem. Back when it was at its highest, it was about 200 million total value locked, which is pretty impressive. Um, it's very high for the Cardano ecosystem currently, and I expect it to get a lot higher in the next bull market. The other great some other great things about MinSwap is that it has very, very deep liquidity pools, usually in the millions of tokens, um, which, you know, 
is directly correlated to the TVL on the platform, but this really makes swapping and trading, yield farming and liquidity providing a lot better of an experience for a user like myself. If you want to trade tokens on a platform that has no liquidity, you're basically not going to buy at market value. You're going to buy at whatever value people are selling on the platform, which is a chance for arbitrage. Yes, but mostly it can be, you know, it's just not a good user experience. So the fact that MinSwap has so much TVL, so much liquidity for these popular pairs makes it a really great user experience for people like me who want to get ADA into Cardano native assets um, or provide liquidity in due time. The other great thing I really love about this platform one, the user experience is really great. If you love cats, <laughs> they do, they're they like a cat themed um, user experience. So if you love cats, you might want to check it out. But I really like the user experience. Very simple. They pride themselves on their mobile version. I don't use mobile. I don't like to have crypto on my phone, but they do have a mobile version. Um, they also have really great APR, APY for some of their yield farming pairs. So some pairs that are a bit more risky and don't have as deep of a yield farming pool, you can get upwards of 20 to 50% APR currently in the bear market, which is pretty awesome. I'm thinking about providing some liquidity to some of those pairs. I haven't tested the yield farming on MinSwap yet, but just to know that you can get 5 to 10, 12% on a popular pair and 20 to 50% on a non-popular um, like ADA something else pair is pretty awesome to think about at, at any point in time you can go earn that that reward is, is a very interesting concept to take kind of action as your own bank so something to look out for if you're interested in yield farming some things you do have to watch out for in yield farming is like impermanent loss where if like one of the pairs goes down then you don't and you want to cash out technically that money's not there so you lose it but in a, in a bear market, if the bottom's already kind of been put in, that impermanent loss is less likely. And then if the market turns around and it goes up, you're definitely not going to have impermanent loss for the most part. One other interesting thing I want to talk about for MinSwap is their trading fee discount. So every trade on MinSwap um, costs $2 in ADA. So if you're making like a ton of trades, you might want to take note of that. Every trade costs $2 in ADA, but they do have what's called a trading fee discount. And if you hold MinSwap in the wallet that you're making the trade from, you can get a discount on your trade to reduce that dollar amount to a lower amount. So here are some examples from their website. There are ranges in between these, but I'm just going to give three examples of the minimum, the maximum, and one in between. So the minimum amount of min that you need to get a discount is if you hold 2,000 min in your wallet that you're making a trade from on a min swap, you can get a 1% reduction in the $2 ADA fee. So this, if you hold 2,000 min in your wallet that you're making a trade from, your transaction fee will not be $2 in ADA. It'll be 1% less. So it'll be $1.98. The kind of a middle ground of where you can be is if you have 20,000 min in your wallet and you make a transaction, you will get a 10% reduction in the fee. So it will only be $1.80. And then the maximum amount of a discount that they will give you is if you have 50,000 min in your wallet, you will get a 25% discount on your transaction. So it won't be $2 anymore. It'll be $1.50. This is just an awesome thing to look at. If you're using MinSwap a lot for trading, you might, and you have min and you want to hold min, you might as well keep it in the wallet that you're making trades from to get like a 10 cent, 50 cent discount at any point in time. Now, some of the risks with a, with a protocol like MinSwap are what I talked about in DeFi, the yield farming, you really have to understand how the token pairs work and how things like liquidity providing gives you LP tokens in your wallet that you have to maintain. And then in order to get your smart or your money out of the smart contract, you have to send those LP tokens back. And then in yield farming, you have impermanent loss and how the pools work. And if a pool like doesn't have enough liquidity in it, then people won't be able to get their funds out right at the same ratios. It that's stuff to watch out for. But also MinSwap did have a a vulnerability that was exposed by the Wing Riders team. And we're going to touch on that. Um, so basically what happened is when MinSwap was released after about, I think it was like a month, they open sourced their code. And then, you know, for some reason, the Wing Riders team decided to take a look at that code and they notified MinSwap that there was a, one or two very critical um, code bugs in their code base where if a hacker wanted to, they could drain all the liquidity out of the protocol. This is obviously 
not a great thing if you're a liquidity provider on MinSwap. That's why I usually like to give projects like this a little bit of time to work, to work these things out before I provide liquidity or use them at all. But because of the power of the Cardano community, Winning Riders decided to let them know about it, which is just, it's just mind boggling. It's really impressive for both parties that they let them know about it. And within the day, um, MinSwap kind of closed their protocol down for maintenance, fixed the critical issues. They did have an audit before this, but the audit did not catch these critical issues. Um, so that audit team was notified. They rechecked the issues, noted it for future audits, and all this was patched without a liquidity hack happening. So that is one of the th one of the risks that could happen with a protocol like this. At any point in time, a bug could be exposed and all the liquidity could be drained. And then you're left with these LQ liquidity tokens in your wallet that are completely worthless without the liquidity smart contract pair sitting inside the protocol, inside a smart contract. So we've kind of touched on what the unique selling point of the project is. It's just a great DEX that does all the core functionalities that you want out of a DEX and it does it really well. So. The unique selling point is that the unique, uh, the unique selling point is definitely relevant in this bear market and in the next bull market. It's something that Cardano is going to need and will do really well having a really good DEX. The third thing is the tokenomics. MinSwap's tokenomics are a nine out of 10 in my book. They're some of the best community focused tokenomics I've ever seen. 70% of all min tokens are being released via their liquidity and yield farming protocols. 10% is released to the team and then an extra 20% is used for like partnerships, their DAO, um, like development and stuff like that. So 70% to the community is just mind boggling. It is completely community focused and it's just, I don't, I don't think very much has been released so far. There's only about um, a 25 million out of 5 billion supply out right now. So this is the opportunity if you want to go earn some mint to get on the protocol and earn it because there is a lot to earn. As far as communication and community, that's going to be the fourth thing we look for. MinSwap's doing fine. They have a great website that fully explains how to use the protocol, um, what their white paper is, what their documentation is, different risks associated. They're, the main platforms I use are Twitter and Reddit. And on Twitter, they're rocking about 50,000 50, followers, very active, explaining what's happening in the protocol. Their Reddit's a bit smaller, only about a couple thousand followers. Um, but there's some really quality posts in there from people in the community or the team itself. Um, I will try and post in there. But as far as community and communication, they're right on par with where you would expect them to be. Nothing outstanding, nothing outstanding, but definitely on par and at least above average, you know, providing information if you want to see that information. Now, I don't have like the technical expertise to go into their code base and review their open source code. I just don't. Um, but as far as reviewing the DEX, the user experience is great. The TVL is great. Um, the liquidity pairs and the deep liquidity pools for trading, liquidity farming, stuff like that is incredible. Um, they have, you know, really worked on the design of the platform. And that, that's about all there is to say. I mean, there's not much to talk about with the DEX. All you do on it is trade tokens, farm tokens, um, earn yield, earn some free crypto, and that's it. It, it sounds like I'm making it a little too simple, but a lot of what crypto is right now, it's these DeFi lending financial platforms where it's just people moving money, right? We're just circulating money. That's a lot of what the banking sector is, just the movement of money, people trying to make a return, right? So there's not much like, like in a cornucopius review, we talk about kind of like what you can do in the game and this and that, but there's there's just not much to do on MinSwap. You get on there, you trade tokens, you provide liquidity, and you hope in the bull run that you're right and you can cash out a little bit of money. So, I mean, as far as doing those things, MinSwap is the best version of it that you can get on Cardano based on some data like TVL, liquidity pools and stuff like that. And then based on just opinion, I've used different DEXs in Cardano. I've used different CEXs and DEXs just in crypto. And MinSwap just does a great job. I haven't had any problems yet. There's not been like any huge major delays to get funds from my wallet to the platform and back to my wallet. I always disconnect my wallet after making a trade or something because I haven't provided liquidity or anything yet. I don't know if you have to keep your wallet connected if you provide liquidity. So that's something you might want to look out for if you do do that. But inside the platform, they also, when you connect your wallet, um, 
they have like this portfolio dashboard. They show you what percentage of your portfolio in your specific wallet is related to which coin. So great breakdown, great user experience. Um, definitely would recommend trying it out if you haven't already and just see if you like it better than some other DEXs you've used in the past. I don't really feel like there's much more I need to say about MinSwap. It's just a great platform and I've had a great experience. So with that being said, let's just jump right into the future price prediction, current price, current metrics, and where I think it could get to and whether I'm buying or not. All right, so the current price of MinSwap is sitting at around one and a half cents. Total value locks 38 million. The current market cap's about 400,000. Fully diluted market cap, 78 million. Um, the current supply of min swap is 25 million with a total supply of 5 billion, 5 billion min swap tokens. So when we look at this project and we look at some other kind of DEXs that we've seen out in crypto, maybe like a Uniswap, a PancakeSwap, uh, one of the ones on Algorand, something like that. My personal opinion is that the main DEX in a ecosystem is worth at about a billion dollars at a, the minimum in a bull market. So let's just say we want to see what MinSwap's price would be at about $1 billion in the next bull run. MinSwap is currently sitting at around a 78 million fully diluted market cap, we said, and a price of one and a half cents. Now, if MinSwap was to reach a $1 billion market cap, the price of MinSwap would be about 19 cents, around 1920 cents. I think this could totally be feasible considering that most major DEX is the leading DEX on every L1s sitting above a billion dollar market cap for the most part. And that is like in Ethereum, that's in the bear market. I'm not sure about Algorand and stuff, but in a bear market, these products are sitting around a billion plus dollars. So I would imagine that in the next bull market, Min MinSwap could definitely try and cross that billion dollar market cap, especially when it already had a 200 million TVL in the last, you know, a couple months ago. So if MinSwap was to cross that billion dollar market cap point, um, it would have a fully, you know, a, a billion dollars fully diluted market cap, then it would have a dollar value of about 19 cents. Now, say it went just 10x beyond that and it reached a fully diluted market cap of about $10 billion, it would be around a dollar and 90 cents. So some numbers to watch out for, I would think definitely you know, you could see MinSwap get about 20 cents for sure in the next bull market. That'd be about a 10x from here. A really, really easy 10x in my opinion. I think there's some easy ways that you can go earn some free min via yield farming and liquidity. You just got to be careful of some of those risks with, you know, DeFi in general, right? So with that being said, um, that's kind of just my review of MinSwap. I think it's a great protocol. I think there's an easy 10x in the protocol from here. If this is the bottom of the bear market, it's still not sure if it's the bottom or not, but probably around a, a 19 to 20 cent min is where I would be hoping to at least start thinking about taking some profits. If you think that the fully diluted market cap is going to go higher than a billion to about 10 billion, you could probably target that 1.9 to $2 area as a good place to take some profits. Basically, what I like to do is six months after the halvening, five, probably about four to five months after the Bitcoin halvening, see where we are. Have we been in a bull market? Has the bull market been going on for a couple months? Then I try and just take some profits. That's that's kind of my plan going forward with this next bull market. So hope you liked the video. If you did like the price prediction and the analysis, please drop me a like. Drop a comment on any other coins you want to see. I have future plans to do a Kopi video. I've been getting a lot of requests on the Jiro wallet. Um, so we're going to do that one, but a lot of videos coming. Please like subscribe. God, God bless. See you in the next one.